From the Canton Civic Center in downtown Canton, Ohio, it's time to tip things off between the Delaware Blue Coats and the Canton Charge. Hello again, Scott Zarilla with you. Glad you are with us. Canton Charge basketball is powered by the Cleveland Cavaliers. So let's get right to it. Match up the teams first for the visiting Blue Coats. They are the G League affiliate of the Philadelphia 76ers, coached by Connor Johnson. His starting five will look like this. At the forwards, Corey Jefferson, Haywood Highsmith, and Norvell Pell. A backcourt of Matt Farrell and Jared Brownridge. Delaware comes in at four and five, two and five on the road. They've won two straight. For the Canton Charge, they're the G League affiliate of the Cleveland Cavaliers, coached by Nate Ranking. His starting five will be Jaron Blossom Game, Sir Dominic Pointer, and Bonzi Colson up front, with Kobe Simmons and Scoochie Smith in the backcourt. Canton four and five, two and one at the Civic Center. Blossom Game and Pell will jump in the center floor logo, charge in the home wine uniforms. Farrell gets the tip, it's in front of the pack, drives and scores the layup. And six seconds in, Delaware's got the lead. Again, charge in the home wine uniforms with the wine and gold trim. Blue coats in the road whites with the blue numbers, letters, and the blue trim. Kobe Simmons settles on a straightaway, three ball, nails it. Kobe Simmons opens the scoring for the charge. This is the second of three meetings between the two teams. Delaware won the first meeting back on November the 20th at Delaware, 113-94. Farrell on the right wing to the baseline, skips it left corner, good ball movement. Brownridge hesitates to, or shoots the three from the left wing, tapped around, knocked out of bounds. And they'll say last touch by the charge. So the blue coach will have the basketball four court to the right. Right of the basket, Matt Farrell will inbound. All-time blue coach lead at 12 to 11, six and five here at the Civic Center. Ball in, bound, uh, ball in bounds, knocked away, picked up by Blossom Game, coming down the lane, drives, rams it home with the right hand. So on the turnover, the charge convert to two points. And one minute in, charge up five to two. Pell at the left elbow. Kobe Simmons tries to knock it away from behind, can't get it, out to Corey Jefferson. Hands back to Brownridge. Brownridge right of the lane to Jefferson into the lane, steps inside, and a reach and foul is gonna be called on Blossom Game. For Jerron, that's his first, first on the charge, and Corey Jefferson will go to the free throw line. Jefferson 6'9 from Baylor, 8.6 points, 5.8 rebounds per game, 68.2% from the free throw line as the first one goes up and in. Today's officials, Will Mensa, Nelson Santiago, and the crew chief is Nate Green. Of course, want to welcome everybody listening in on Canton's New Country 99.7 and the Canton Charge mobile app. Second free throw, good as well. 5-4 charge, 10.45 to play in the first. Scoochie Smith, straight away to Bonzi Colson, hands back to Kobe Simmons on the left wing to a cutting Sir Dominic Pointer on the left block, had it lost it out of bounds, turns it over, and the Blue Coats get it back. 10.32 to play in the first, 5-4 lead for the charge. The teams will meet one more time on Monday, March the 18th, back in Delaware. Pell hands back to Highsmith, straight away between the circles. Back to Corey Jefferson, left block to Pell, turns inside, goes up for the slam, knocked away by Sir Dominic Pointer, picked up by Simmons. Simmons straight away between the circles, skips it to Pointer, sets for the left top three ball. Got it, Sir Dominic Pointer. Drains his second three ball of the season, charge. Eight to four, exactly two minutes into quarter number one. Jefferson, right wing to Farrell, coming down the right block, skips it left corner to Brownridge into the lane, straight away to Highsmith, pumps, comes down the left side, back in the corner, Brownridge another three. This one he makes. Jared Brownridge. His first basket of the night, or afternoon if you prefer, which it is. Ball knocked out of bounds on the drive by Scoochie Smith. We've got a reach and foul on Norvell Pell, and Scoochie Smith will go to the free throw line. Blue Coats head coach Connor Johnson questioning the shooting form, uh, the uh, attempt of Scoochie Smith as the first one rattles in. Scoochie 6-2 from Dayton. 11 points, just under five rebounds, 6.8 assists, which is good for sixth in the league. From the free throw line, he makes them both. Scucci on the season now 26 of 32. The charge lead is three, 
9.35 to play in the first. Pell at the left top to Brownridge. Jefferson, right elbow extended back to Brownridge. Back to Jefferson, right of the lane, picked up by Blossom Game. Passes inside, knocked away, picked up by Pointer. Glides four court to the left to Scucci Smith. Back to Simmons for another three. This one wide off the rim, grabbed by Highsmith to Farrell. Blue coats and the white moving left to right. Farrell to Pell. On the weave, hands it to Brownridge. And a little too tight on the defense is Kobe Simmons. He'll pick up his first. First on Simmons, second on the charge. 9.03 to play in the first. Jared Brownridge has it four court to the right. On the near side, looks, goes straight away to Farrell. Working a two-man with Pell to the left elbow. Backs it out, shoots the jump shot from there. Rim no good. Skying for the rebound is Kobe Simmons. He'll quickly push to the left. Coming down the right side. Drops it left corner. Blossom game to Pointer. Left wing, another three. This one's off the rim, no good. Blossom game goes up and gets the rebound and put it in. Wow, Jerem Blossom game just out-muscled the front line of the Blue Coats and put it up with the left hand. He's got four, charge 12-7. Brownridge right wing three, nope. Weak side rebound tapped around, saved by Highsmith to Brownridge. Highsmith got it back, back to Brownridge. Steps into a right top three ball, got another one. Jared Brownridge, two three balls, six points. 12-10 Canton, 8-15 to play in the first. Kobe Simmons in the center floor logo to Sir Dominic Pointer. Make it Scucci Smith out front. Hook pass, left corner to Simmons on the left block. On his drive, there's a body block by Matt Farrell. Farrell's first, second on the blue coats as Cam Oliver will replace Norvell Pell. Oliver, 6'8", 225 from Nevada, 14 and a half points, nine rebounds per contest. Four court to the left, left free throw line extended. Kobe Simmons out front to Scoochie Smith. Scoochie looks, fires inside to Colson, had it, lost it, ball on the floor, picked up by Sir Dominic Pointer with five. Into the lane, drives with the left hand on the rim, in and foul. Sir Dominic Pointer, aggressive going to the basket. He's got five, will look to complete the three-point play. Cam Oliver comes right in, commits a personal foul, his first. And Sir Dominic Pointer from the free throw line, seven of 10 entering tonight. Three and a half points, two rebounds per contest for the 6-7 forward from St. John's. Corey's in trail. Cam, you're setting it, get rope. Sir Dom takes his time going to the free throw line. Left foot slightly behind the right, puts it up, rattles it in. Six first quarter points for Sir Dominic Pointer gives the charge a five point lead with 7.45 to play in the first. Farrell coming around the right elbow extended, skips it left side, Highsmith, left wing three ball. Rims out, rebounded by Colson to Scucci Smith. Right wing, Sir Dominic Pointer into the lane once again, scoops it back, Scucci Smith straight away, three ball, got it! Scucci Smith, five points. His first three ball tonight. Scucci out three hours prior to the game shooting around today. He struggled from the floor. Just 36% from the field coming into tonight. Put in the extra work and it paid off on that shot. As the shot by Farrell comes off the rim, picked up by Pointer. No look pass inside the Blossom game. A two hand slam. Great fast break by the charge. They've got a 10 point lead, 20 to 10, five minutes into the first. How about that no look pass? Farrell coming down the left side, skips it. Jefferson down the lane. alley inside off the rim, no good. Ricochets to Oliver, back inside to Jefferson. Had it, lost it. Picked up by Scucci Smith. Smith directs traffic on the drive. Gonna come right down the middle, skips it right corner. Colson, right top three ball. You got it! Bonzi Colson nails the three. And Connor Johnson calls timeout, 6.36 to play, quarter number one, charge 23 to 10 on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network.
Friday nights are free post-game free throws for all fans, and on Saturdays, get up close to the players during full team autograph sessions. That's right. Every Friday, free post-game free throws, and every Saturday, free post-game team autograph sessions right here at the Canton Civic Center. 6.36 to play in the first. Charge a 13-point lead, 23 to 10. They fit eight of their first 10 shots, including four of six from beyond the three-point line. Six points for Sir Dominic Pointer and for Jaron Blossom game. Jaron, pardon me. Blue coach with the basketball, Kyle Randall in for the first time. Former member of the charge, running the offense for the Blue Coats. Straight away to Oliver, coming down the left side, muscles over Colson off the glass for two. Strong move by Cam Oliver. Stops the bleeding for the Blue Coats. Blossom game straight away, coming down the right side, working on Ryan Anderson, who came in for the Blue Coats. Short on the turnaround, grabbed by Oliver. Inside on the drive, off the rim, tapped up and in by Devon Akun Purcell in for the first time. Down the right side, Kobe Simmons off the turnover, rams it home with the right hand. He's got five. 25 12, matching the biggest lead of the afternoon. Highsmith, left baseline jumper short. Anderson grabs the rebound, put it up with the left hand, comes up short, gets his own miss, brings it to the right block, goes back inside on Colson, muscles it up and in. Ryan Anderson doing some work on the glass. His first two coming down the right side. Blossom game to Colson, to Scucci Smith out front, to the left elbow, skips it left corner to Pointer. Sets for the three, shoots the three, comes up short. Anderson another rebound. Randall skips it cross court, stolen by Kobe Simmons. Four on one, drives, drops it inside the Blossom game, spins and slams with the right hand. Eight points for Blossom game. Great patience by Kobe Simmons. 27-14 charge. Five minutes to play in the first. Left top, Highsmith. Working a two-man with Oliver. Comes down the left side, forced it up. Got a piece of it. Was Bonzi Colson grabbed by Pointer. Three on two break. Skips it. Blossom game. Right top three ball. Yes, sir. Splashed it through. 11 first quarter points for Jerron Blossom game. Charge by 16 with 4.35 to play in the first. Charge hitting on all cylinders. Randall drops it inside to Oliver, comes down the lane, short off the front of the rim, grabbed by Pointer. On the push to the left, gonna keep it, Euro step, scoops with the left hand off the glass. Eight points for Sir Dominic Pointer. Connor Johnson calls time out. 4.22 to play in the first. Charge 32-14 on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network. Hey, if you want to connect even more with The Charge, like us on Facebook, Instagram, and follow us on Twitter today and get access to exclusive photos, team updates, contests, giveaways, and more. We like you, so go like us. And remember, you can follow me on Twitter at Z-Man Cavs. 422 to play in the first charge, 32 to 14. They've hit 12 of the first 16 shots, five of eight, three balls. 11 first quarter points for Jerron Blossom. Game charge actually coming out of the timeout, pressuring full court as Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman and Levi Randolph, Ja'Cory Williams, Billy Preston, and Emmanuel Terry, a fresh five 
for the charge as the starting five certainly earned a rest after that impressive seven minutes and 38 seconds of action. Blue Coats basketball four court to the right. Randall in the left corner. Our friend to Akun Purcell comes down the left side, skips it right wing. DJ Hogue gonna shoot a three, rim no good, weak side saved by Levi Randolph to Ja'Cory Williams. Quickly into the forecourt to the left, gonna keep it, drive with the left hand, can't get it to finish. And it's gonna be off Ja'Cory and out of bounds. Boy, he had a nice move, just couldn't quite finish off the shot. 3.45 to play in the first. Kyle Randall drops it to Oliver Anderson at the right top for the Blue Coats. Kyle Randall, left elbow extended to Oliver, puts it on the floor, coming down the left side. And before the shot, a foul is gonna be called on Ja'Cory Williams. Fourth foul on the charge for Ja'Cory, that's gonna be his first. And they will say two shots for Cam Oliver. Oliver 6'8", as we said, 225 from Nevada. 63.6% from the free throw line entering tonight on seven of 11, now eight of 12 as the first one goes up and in. First meeting back on November the 20th, Oliver had 13 points, 15 rebounds, and a block shot. Blue zero on the back of his white road uniform, Oliver again, good again. Four points for Cam Oliver, 3.30 to play in the first, charge 32-16. Abdul Rahman out front between the circles, picked up by Randall. Tries to get past him, we got a hold on Randall. Norvell Pell back in, replacing Cameron Oliver, Cam Oliver for the Blue Coats. Oliver sits down with four, Pell back in scoreless. Four court to the left, just over the half court stripe. Levi Randolph will inbound for Canton. Looks, still looking, gets it to Terry, and stolen away by Akun Purcell. He'll glide four court to the right, cut off at the free throw line, goes out to Ryan Anderson. On the left wing to Akun Purcell. Looks, crosses over, cut off by Ja'Cory Williams, and they'll say, well, they'll say Ja'Cory Williams with the block, but I'll tell you what, Akun Purcell kind of extended that arm a little bit. Officials didn't see it that way, so to the free throw line is Devon Akun Purcell. His first action for the Blue coats. So we have no numbers to give you on him. First one bounces on the rim and him. We can tell you he is 6'5, 200 pounds from Illinois State. As a team, the Blue Coats, sixth in the G League, shooting 77.8% from the line. Second free throw off the back of the rim, but we've got a lane violation on Ja'Cory Williams. So Akun Purcell will get a second try at the second free throw. Slight knee bend, snaps it up, and rattles it in. Two points for Akun Purcell. 3.05 to play in the first, 32-18 charge. Straight away, Emmanuel Terry, left top to Randolph, left of the lane, Ja'Cory Williams, working on Anderson into the lane, hesitates, turns with the left hand on the rim and in. Patented Ja'Cory Williams move that time, his first basket, pushes the lead back to 16 for the charge. Akun Purcell between the circles out front, Right wing, Anderson back to Akun Purcell. Working on Terry, crosses him over, steps back. 18 foot jump shot, nothing but net. Four points off the bench for Devon Akun Purcell. Two and a half to play. Ja'Cory Williams coming right to left. The left hand sweeping runner is good. On the rim falls in, four points for Ja'Cory. 36 to 20. Randall, alley-oops inside to Norvell Pell who slams it home with two hands. Well done, the two-man game, Randall to Pell. Rachman walking through the center floor logo to the right elbow, extended to Terry into the lane, hesitates, forced it up, and they're gonna wave it off as Terry gets called for a shuffle in the feet. Jefferson back, Farrell back, Randall and Anderson both take a seat. 2-0-1 to play, first quarter, 36-22, charge out in front. Blue, Kels, Blue Coats held a early two-point lead, but it's been all Canton since that time. Akun Purcell 
the free throw line, forced it inside, knocked away, picked up by Abdul Rahman, and a foul in the backcourt is going to be on, I believe, yep, Akun Purcell. Both teams over the limit. So the charge will go to the free throw line, and shooting the free throws will be Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. 6'4", 190 from Michigan. As a team, the charge second from the bottom in free throw accuracy at just 68.5%. First free throw goes up and in. Dua Rachman now one of three for the season. Just over five points, two assists per game. Tries again, front of the rim, back of the rim, front of the rim falls off to Norvell Pell. Farrell out front to Jefferson. 145 to play in the first Pell to a cutting Hogue and goaltending on Billy Preston as he slapped it off the glass from behind. So first basket today for DJ Hogue. Akun Purcell will take a seat and Jared Brownridge back for the Bluecoats. All right, they're gonna see, have, to, have to wait till the next dead ball. I guess technically that was not a stoppage if it's a goaltend. So Ja'Cory Williams into the forecourt to the left, waits and hands it to Abdul Rahman. Left top, Levi Randolph, 90 seconds of play in the first, 17 foot jump shot for Levi Randolph straight away is right there. Levi Randolph, first points for the afternoon, 15 point lead for the charge. Backdoor cut one more time. Akun Purcell drops it inside to Pell for another slam. Norvell Pell, two baskets, two slams. 105 to play in the first quarter. 39-26. Charge 18-point lead is down to 13. Randolph drops inside to Terry. Had it lost it on the floor. Who's got it? Jefferson digs it out. R Levi trying to steal it. Can't do it, but we will get a jump ball. Levi Randolph quickly in to help out. Now Brownridge and Highsmith can return, I believe. Yes. Hogue and Akun Purcell will take a seat. So Corey Jefferson at 6'9", and Levi Randolph at 6'5", will jump in the circle to the left. Nate Green tosses it up and stealing the tap. Levi Randolph got to it quick. Ja'Cory Williams on the left wing to Preston, straight away Abdul Rahman. Preston left top, left of the lane to Ja'Cory, working on the smaller Brown Ridge. Steps, forced with the left, swatted away by Pell. Into the corner, Abdul Rahman under the basket. Skips it right, blocked, Terry goes up! He got it off the glass and he draws the foul! Oh, Emmanuel Terry just muscled that one up off the window. He's got two, we'll look for three at the line. Corey Jefferson picks up the personal foul. Emmanuel Terry, 13 of 23 from the line, looking to improve on that percentage, and he does. Nice and clean, three points on the three-point play for Emmanuel Terry, 30 seconds to play in the first. Charge 42-26. Farrell, left wing Brownridge, knocked away by Terry, picked up by Farrell, into the lane, scoops underneath off the glass for two. Good move by Matt Farrell, two baskets, four points. Shot clock is off. Got 15 seconds to play in the first. Abdul Rahman, guarded by Farrell at the left top. Straight away between the circles, goes to the right elbow, stops there, down to five, steps back for a right top three ball. Good idea, Abdul Rahman. First three ball, he's got four points, 4.1 seconds to play. Farrell, four court to the right. Coming all the way into the lane, floats it up on the rim, didn't get it, and we played 12 minutes of basketball at the Canton Civic Center, all charge. 45-28 entering the second. This is Charge Basketball on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network.
Start of the second quarter at the Canton Civic Center. Charge 45 to 28, led by as many as 18. Shot just under 74% from the field on 17 of 23. Don't forget, coming up at halftime, recap a busy night of games last night and a full schedule of games on the schedule later tonight. So we'll get you caught up on all of those at the half coming up here in about 11 minutes and 42 seconds. Delaware basketball, four court to the right. Pell out front in the center floor logo. On the weave to Highsmith. Left hand dribble come down left side. Skips it left wing to Brown Ridge under the basket. Double clutch, looks it out front. Farrell right top, wide open three off the front of the rim, but it bounces in. Matt Farrell, first three ball tonight. He's got seven. His 16th three ball of the season. Charge 45-31. Rockman. Coming down the right side on the right block, high off the glass, but Terry is there for the follow slam. Emmanuel Terry, the big man making himself big. The follow slam, charged by 16. They've led by as much as 18. Pell backdoor cut for Highsmith, right block. Blocked again, and this time another goal 10 by Billy Preston. Tell you what, Billy's working hard at it. He's trying. He's just a split second short of getting these balls clean on the block. Abdul Rahman, right to left. Left hand dribble, now straight away to Ja'Cory Williams. Crosses over into the lane, right block, Terry hesitates, steps inside, two hand slam. Emmanuel Terry, two dunks, a muscle move in the first quarter, he's got seven points. Season's average, 7.9. Brown Ridge into the lane, double clutch, left hand, didn't get it, Pell the offensive rebound, forced it up, didn't get it, but a foul is gonna be called on the reach in. Now it's going to be on Billy Preston. So Billy Preston picks up his first, and Norvell Pell will go to the free throw line. First trip today, 81% on 17 of 21. Front rim, side rim falls off to the right. Pell second in the G League, shooting over 72% from the floor. Number two in the G League, 3.1 block shots per contest. Second free throw, spins it up and in, five points for Norvell Pell. Charge 49, 24, 34, pardon me. Terry straight away to Abdul Rahman. Comes to the right elbow, gonna keep it, drive right side, off the window for two more. Abdul Rahman, couple of drives, six points. Coming up on two minutes into the second quarter. Pell on the weave, hands back to Brown Ridge. Bounces off Randolph. Now picked up on the switch by Ja'Cory Williams. Right top three ball, back rim too strong. Tapped around, controlled by Billy Preston. Preston coming down the left side, couple of big steps. Runner off the glass and rim comes down to Pell to Farrell. Farrell to the right top. Four court to the right, straight away to Pell. Highsmith. Coming down the right side, spins to the free throw line. On the double team, shoots a fadeaway turnaround, short off the rim. Great control, and box out by Terry for the rebound. To Ja'Cory Williams, left wing, into the lane, drives, lays it up with the right hand. The southpaw switched it to the right hand, laid it up and in, six points for Ja'Cory. 53-34, biggest lead of the day for the charge. Farrell bounces off Abdul Rahman for the offensive foul. Little bit of the push off according to Will Mensa. And according to Sean White, our director of communications. If they if Sean sees it, it's gotta be right. Wholesale changes for the blue coats, Akun Purcell, Ryan Anderson, Cam Oliver, Kyle Randall back on the floor. 907 to play, 53-34. Charge just red hot, 21 of 30, 70% from the floor, six of nine from beyond the arc, five of six free throws for good measure. Abdul Rahman through the swashbuckler logo right to left. Ja'Cory Williams now coming down the right side on Anderson, drives with the right hand, didn't get it too strong. Akun Purcell the rebound, quickly into the forecourt to the right. Right wing to Randall, he'll bring it out front to Anderson. Left elbow, Cam Oliver, skips it, right wing, Akun Purcell. Working on Randolph, stops, 
Skips out front, Oliver straight away three ball. Yes, sir, the big man can shoot from out there. Seven points, first three ball tonight, 10th of the season for the 6'8", Cam Oliver. Might remember his work that he's put in with the Wisconsin herd in the past. Coming down the right side, Abdul Rahman. That one is just slapped away by Oliver. Brownridge, Akun Purcell, Source comes up short on the layup. Picked up by Levi Randolph. Left wing, Abdul Rahman, the three from there. Short off the rim, rebounded by Terry. Spins left block, hooks right hand, short off the rim, snatched down by Oliver. Good move by Terry, just couldn't get the short hook to drop. Randall into the lane, spins with the left hand, didn't get it. Anderson, offensive rebound, put it up and in. Good work by Ryan Anderson on the glass. He's got four and eight ranking in the charge call a timeout. 7.45 to play. First qu uh, Second quarter, charge out in front, 53-39 on Canton's New Country, 99-7 in the charge broadcast network. Seven forty-five to play second quarter. Hey, don't forget you can become a member of Charge Nation. Membership start at ten dollars and include be exclusive benefits, access, and flexible payment options. Sign up now and start taking advantage of the benefits today, including members only meet the team events. For more information, call 866-444-1944 or visit CantonCharge.com. Charge in front, fifty-three thirty-nine. They've led by as many as nineteen. Still shooting. Remarkably well, just under 62%, 61.8. Charge coming in 21st in the league at 43.7. So that percentage is going to rise if the gold, the wine and gold can keep this up. Right wing jump shot by Scucci Smith splashes through. Scucci first basket here in the second quarter. He's got seven. Ryan Anderson at the right top working on Blossom game. Spins into the lane off the, the glass with the right hand. Good move. Ryan Anderson, he's got six. Didn't play in the first meeting between the Charge and the Blue Coats. Isaac Hamilton in for the first time for the Charge. Threw it away, picked up by Akun Purcell. In front of the pack, drives, keeps it and slams with two hands. Devon Akun Purcell, two baskets. He's got six points. 6.50 to play, first half. 55-43, the 19-point lead now trimmed down to 12. Kobe Simmons, left elbow, jump shot from there. Got it to go, and a little bit too much body from Akun Purcell. Kobe Simmons will look to complete the three-point play. He got just enough of his hip as Kobe took the jump shot. And Kobe will now look for point number eight on the Simmons, on the, on the <laughs> Simmons, on the season. Kobe Simmons now 31 of 33. 94%, that is sixth best in the G League. Akun Purcell out front between the circles. Hands back to Brown Ridge. Oliver at the right top, spe steps back, shoots the three, short off the rim, Kobe Simmons the rebound. Has it knocked away, goes back and get it, gets it, 6.20 to play, first half. Simmons coming down the left side, skips it. Blossom game to Colson. Good ball movement. Scoochie Smith, left wing three ball off the rim. No good weak side rebound. Ryan Anderson to Randall. Four court to the right. Blue coats in the white uniforms. Blue numbers, blue letters. Akun Purcell, left top three. Short, 
Simmons another rebound. Kobe on the push to the left. Crosses over into the lane. Big steps high up the glass. Didn't get it. And a late whistle is going to be called on the Bluecoats. And it's going to be called on Jared Brownridge. For Brownridge, that is his first. Second on the Bluecoats as a team. Kobe Simmons back to the free throw line. Kobe Simmons, eight points, three rebounds, two assists. Make it nine points as the first free throw is good. Brownridge takes a seat. Hogue back in. Oliver takes a seat. Pell back in. Kobe on the season, 14.4 points, three and a half rebounds, just under three assists per game, 1.3 steals per contest. That free throw good as well. Ten points for Kobe Simmons. 5.50 to play, first half. Charged by 17. Skip pass. Hogue to right block to Anderson. Looking for help. Skips it out front. Akun Purcell into the lane. Drives underhand scoop. Comes up short. Slapped off the glass. Controlled by Colson to Smith. Drops it to Simmons. Coming down the lane. Double clutch with the left hand. On the rim. In and foul. Kobe Simmons strong to the basket. Oh, they're going to call him offensive. That, did I not see Nelson Santiago... Yeah, he, he kind of gave a little bit of a mixed call there. Yeah. All right. Okay. That that was kind of a basket was good. All right. Fool me once. I'll take it. Norvell Powell left elbow for the blue coat. Straight away to Randall. Randall on the right wing. Shoots the three ball from there. Good idea. Splashes it home. Kyle Randall, first basket today, three points, his second three of the season. Cuts the charge, lead to 14 at 60 to 46. Scoochie Smith straight away, 15 foot jump shot, wide left off the rim. And Randall's got it for the Blue Coats. Takes his time, four court to the right, to the right elbow. Knocks over Sir Dominic Pointer, floater from there, back rim too strong. Bonzi Colson muscles away the rebound, and a reach and foul is going to be called on Norvell Pell. Second on Pell, uh, excuse me, on the Blue Coats for then make it the third on the Blue Coats, the second on Norvell Pell. Akun Purcell takes a seat. Haywood Highsmith back for Delaware. Sir Dominic Pointer takes his time with the left hand dribble, right to left. 4.45 to play, first half. Simmons working on Hogue. Spins into the lane, underhand, scoop! Oh, what a move! Put it on the highlight reel, Marty. Kobe Simmons spun and spun it off the glass with the right hand, underhand scoop. That was nice. Highsmith under the basket, drops it to Anderson on the right block, muscled it up. Eight points for Ryan Anderson. He's got six in the quarter, keeping the Bluecoats within striking distance. Charge 62-48. Right of the lane, Blossom game. But the smaller Kyle Randall is going to get called for the excess contact. The forecourt to the left, right free throw line extended. Kobe Simmons will inbound. Kobe looks and goes out front. Scoochie Smith back to Simmons. Looking for Blossom game. Right of the lane faces up on Anderson. Looking for help. Back and inside, into the lane, turns to his left. Right hand jump hook. Oh, it was in, it came back out. Norvell Pell, the rebound for the Bluecoats. 3.55 to play, first half. Randall, Highsmith, left wing, a three ball. Too strong, tapped around off the glass. Kicks out to Highsmith off his foot, goes back and gets it. Stolen away by Simmons in front of the pack. 3.62 hand slam. Kobe Simmons putting on a clinic this afternoon. Nine here in the second quarter, 14 points for the game. Charge 64 48, 330 to play, first half. Knocked away and out of bounds by Sir Dominic Pointer on the pass intended for Haywood Highsmith. Looks like Randall and Highsmith miscommunication as they're trying to have a little conversation to try to find themselves on the same page. Four court to the right, Randall. Highsmith has it knocked away from behind by Sir Dominic Pointer. Charged defensively this year. Fifth in the G League, forcing 19.3 turnovers a game. Fourth in the league with 10.2 steals per contest. 
Randall out and Farrell back in. Four court to the right, left of the basket. Farrell inbounds. Look in, look in, goes way out front to Hogue. Hands back to Farrell with 3.20 to play. First half, five on the shot clock. Farrell straight away, 18 foot jump shot, goes 19 feet off the back of the rim. Hits the top of the backboard twice. Goes over the top and out of bounds. Back to the charge with 3.13 to play. And the charge, a 16 point lead. They've led by as much as 19. Still hot from the floor, 61%, 25-41. Bluecoats, not too bad, 43% on 18 to 42. Kobe Simmons working on Highsmith. Floater from the right block. Highsmith got a piece of it, saved by Pell to Farrell. Bluecoats, four court to the right. Hogue, left wing, thought about the three, skips it to Farrell instead. Around a pick from Pell. Anderson, right corner, three ball off the front of the rim, tapped around, finally controlled by Scucci Smith. Into the forecourt. Left corner, Colson, a three ball. Too strong, weak side rebound. Kobe Simmons had it taken away by Farrell. In front of the pack to Anderson, bounce pass. Hogue, left side, double clutch, didn't get it, and a late whistle. A late whistle is going to be a foul on Sir Dominic Pointer, and we've got a timeout on the floor. 2.32 to play. First half charge, 64-48. A 99-7 Canton's New Country in the Charge Broadcast Network. Hey, don't forget to download the Canton Charge smartphone app for news, scores, stats, and tickets, plus a whole lot more, all while listening to the charge right from your phone. It's free, fast, and easy. Go to the App Store and download it today. Coming up in 2 minutes and 32 seconds, we'll have the halftime report, get you caught up on a busy night of games last night and a full slate of scheduled games for tonight. Charge 64-48. They've already got seven steals. This is just a couple short of their season's average. And they've already forced eight turnovers, which they have turned into 13 points off the blue coats. Off the timeout, DJ Hogue going to shoot a couple of free throws. Hogue 7 of 8 before the first one goes up and in. Hogue 6'9", 215 from Texas A&M. Eight and a half points, two and a half rebounds per game. Flips it up. Got another one. Four points on the afternoon for the 22-year-old from Plano, Texas. 64-50. Charge out in front. Blossom game on the weave to Sir Dominic. Pointer backdoor cut. Simmons slams home two more. Kobe was 16. Another nifty assist from Sir Dominic Pointer. 11 points in the second for Simmons. And the charge up 16, 66-50. Coming up on the two-minute mark of the first half, Farrell around a pick from Pell to the elbow, to the wing, Highsmith. Skips it left wing to Hogue. Left block, Pell has it knocked away on the help by Kobe, by, excuse me, Scoochie Smith. And Scoochie will get called for the foul. Looks like Scoochie may have banged a finger or a thumb, kind of hanging on to it. No shots before the shot attempt by Pell, so the blue coach will inbound. Four court to the right, left free throw line extended. DJ Hogue goes out front to Farrell. 150 to play. 
And a little too tight on the defense. Scoochie Smith out front on Matt Farrell. Two on Scoochie. Charge over the limit. So Matt Farrell will go to the free throw line. Farrell first trip today. Two of two. Now three of three early in the season. 6'1", 175 from Notre Dame. Scoochie Smith will sit out the final 147. Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman will run the point for the final moments here of the first half. Farrell hits the second free throw as well. 145 to play. Charge 66-52. They've led by as much as 19. Straight away, Kobe Simmons. Coming into the lane, couple of big steps, high off the glass. Good help by Pell, made Simmons change the shot. And Farrell's got the rebound for the Blue Coats. Alley oops inside, tapped away, grabbed by Blossom Game. Weaves his way into the forecourt, gets it to Abdul Rahman. Back to Blossom Game, sets for the straightaway, three ball off the rim, no good. Pell taps it to Jefferson, who underhand scoops it to Farrell. Farrell, left wing. Straight away to Jefferson, long straight away three, got it. Corey Jefferson, that was a bomb. His ninth of the season, he's got five points. Charge lead, getting trimmed down now, just 11, 66-55. Kobe Simmons, left top straight away to Bonzi Colson, directs traffic, weaves to the right top, hands back to Randolph. Five on the clock, Randolph into the lane, turns, underhand scoop off the glass, Levi Randolph, another nifty move. He's got four, that stopped the bleeding for the charge. Charge by 13, 35 seconds to play. Farrell coming down, drops it right block, Pell with the left hand hammer. Oh goodness, the big man, 6'10", 230, rammed it home. Body six and a half difference, shot clock to quarter clock. Blossom game. Hands back to Randolph, straight away. Charged by 11. Abdul Rahman to the right top. Skips it left top. Randolph fires the three. Got it! Levi Randolph. Big three ball, 10 seconds of play. Blue coats will use him up. Farrell between the circle, straight away with three. Right top three ball. Off the rim, no good. And with .1 on the clock, I'm sure they'll put something back up there. Kobe Simmons is going to get called for a reach foul on the rebound attempt by Corey Jefferson. And with the charge over the limit, that's going to give Jefferson two free throws. And they did not put any more time on the clock, just .1, so nothing's going to happen after this. Jefferson just trying to pull the blue coats one point closer if he can and short off the front of the rim and that'll do it. Halftime at the Canton Civic Center. Charge looking good and they have hung on and they've got the 13 point lead at the half. Charge 71, blue coats 58. We'll take a timeout. This is Canton Charge Basketball on, Cant on 99.7 Canton's New Country in the Charge Broadcast Network.
Back at the Canton Civic Center, it's halftime, and the Charge leading the Delaware Blue Coat 71 to 58. Hello again, Scott Zarilla with you. Glad you are with us. Want to welcome in everybody, of course, on 99.7 Canton's New Country, the Canton Charge mobile app, and watching on Facebook. Well, it was a busy night of NBA G League basketball last night. So let's get you caught up as the Long Island Nets, who will be here at the Civic Center on Thursday night, travel to Greensboro, knocked off the Swarm 118-114. Long Island now 7-2. They got 24 from Jordan McLaughlin, 23 from Janan Musa, while Joe Chile's 28. Not enough for the Swarm, who have now lost five straight. In Grand Rapids, it was all Lakeland Magic. They beat up on the drive, 119-95. Two straight for the Magic, two straight losses for the drive. Troy Copain and Emil Jefferson, 20 points apiece for Lakeland. Luke Kennard, 27 for Grand Rapids. Northern Arizona went into Sioux Falls and the Sky Force, no trouble knocking off the visitors, 127 to 106. Sioux Falls now 9 and 2. Had three players with 20 or more points in that ballgame. Northern Arizona now 2 and 10. They've lost six straight. Salt Lake City, five point win at Rio Grande Valley as they were able to knock off the Vipers 119-114. Vipers now have lost two straight games. Jarius Lyles, 29 for the Stars. Michael Frazier, 20 points in a losing effort for the Vipers. In Austin, the Spurs played host to the Agua Caliente Clippers, and the Clippers snuck out a 125-122 win. Former Cavaliers number one overall pick, Anthony Bennett, 36 points for ACC. Angel Delgado added 27 Nick Johnson had 32 to lead the way for the Spurs, while former Cav and Charge two-way player John Holland had his first ball game with the Spurs and scored 21. And also last night, Texas a 104-102 win at Santa Cruz, handing the Warriors their second consecutive loss. Daryl Macon had 22 points for the Legends. Marcus Derrickson had 22, leading the way for Santa Cruz. Now again, busy schedule of games tonight as the 1-9 Wisconsin Herd traveled to Erie to take on the Bayhawks. Later tonight, Windy City plays at Fort Wayne. The Charge will be at Fort Wayne 7 o'clock on Monday night. You can, of course, hear that on 99.7 and the Charge mobile app. 9-3 Westchester, they're atop the standings as they will be at Greensboro later tonight. Capital City plays at Maine. Salt Lake City will be at Austin. Northern Arizona Northern Arizona plays at Iowa. South Bay will be at Memphis. And the Texas Legends will be at Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz at 8 and 2. So they'll pretty much do it to it from the scoreboard. We'll take a timeout when we come back. We'll take a quick look at the box score. It is halftime at the Canton Civic Center. Charge lead it 71 to 58. This is Canton Charge Basketball on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Canton Charge Broadcast Network.
right back at the Canton Civic Center. It is halftime and the charge lead the blue coat 71 to 58. Now let's pause for station identification on the Canton Charge Broadcast Network. Let's take a quick look at the box score. Charge led at 45-28 after one, but a 30 to 26 second quarter cut the lead to 71-58, which is where we stand at the half. Charge led by as many as 19. Bluecoats had an early two point lead. Just one lead change. That was after the, char the Bluecoats had that two point lead. There have been no ties in the ball game here in the first half. Quick numbers that stand out. Charge continuing to shoot the basketball very well. 58.3% from the floor on 28 of 48. Charge 21st in the G League, shooting 43.7%. So they are well above their season's average here tonight. Six made threes for the Blue Coats, seven for the Charge on 14 attempts. Again, the Charge 12th in the G League, hitting 34% of their threes. So they are above that as well. Doing a nice job from the free throw line as well at eight of nine as they shoot just 68.5%. 23-20 rebound advantage for the Bluecoats who have nine turnovers, which the Charge have turned into 13 points. Individually for the Bluecoats, nobody in double figures, but they've got nine from Matt Farrell. They've got nine and six rebounds from Norvell Pell. And they've got eight off the bench from Ryan Anderson with five rebounds for the Charge. Two players in double figures. Kobe Simmons with 16 points, three rebounds. Seems like he's got about eight, 11 points for Jerron Blossom game. Eight points for Sir Dominic Pointer, and it all adds up to a Canton Charge 71-58 lead at the half. And don't forget, you can visit cantoncharge.com or the mobile app for these numbers and more on today's ball game. 71-58, Charge out in front. We'll take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have the second half play-by-play -play between the Charge and the Blue Coats on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network. Welcome to NBA G League Weekly. I'm Brandon Wellington, and this is Rewind. The NBA G League is off and running, and there are a lot of players who were in midseason form this past week. Darius Morris is one of those players. The guard from Santa Cruz did this. Between the legs, bounce pass for Deontay Davis. The C-Dub swagging out. Jalen Adams was in a zone of his own against the Westchester Knicks. Adams trying to get the 40, got it with a three-pointer. The sharpshooter of Erie nailed 10 three-pointers on his way to 44 points, which is a season high in the NBA G League. A fantastic finish in Northern Arizona, George King, how about it? At the buzzer, and it goes! Suns win! King just nailed it to beat the Agua Caliente Clippers. Speaking of Kings, LeBron James showed his support of the South Bay Lakers. The legend of Los Angeles saw Alex Caruso nail a three-pointer to give the South Bay Lakers a win over the Iowa Wolves. There was more star power in the G League as Giannis Antetokounmpo than the Milwaukee Bucks was in attendance to see the Wisconsin Herd battle the Windy City Bulls. Thanks for watching NBA G League Weekly. I'm Brandon Wellington. See you next time.
Back at the Canton Civic Center, all set to begin the second half of basketball. Charge out in front, 71 to 58. During NBA Care's season of giving the NBA, its teams and players are helping make a difference in the lives of those in need by giving back. Join the NBA and share how you are spreading holiday cheer this year by using hashtag NBA Cares. To learn more, visit cares.nba.com. Both teams just about ready to get back out onto the floor. Blue coats in the road, white uniforms, blue letters, numbers, blue trim with the nifty, um, oh, what is he called? On the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's a great logo that the blue coats have. I'm drawing a blank. Charge in the home wine uniforms, the black numbers, gold letters, gold and black side trim. Of course, in the G League, players' names are under the players' numbers. And across the front of the charge on the stomach is the Sugardale logo. Take a quick peek. Looks like everybody is back to their original starting fives. Charge basketball left to right on the dribble of Scoochie Smith. Right top to Bonzi Colson, picked up by Corey Jefferson. Charge led by as many as 19. Blossom game right block on the smaller Farrell. And oh boy, I tell you, Norvell Pell almost caught it in the air. Not sure how that was in the goal temp, but they didn't call it. And the blue, co blue coach have it to begin the second half on their first possession. Four court to the left. Jared Brownridge on the far side will inbound. Knocked away, stolen by Scucci Smith. One on one with Farrell. Drives and scores with the left hand. Scucci Smith, nine points. Again, one of the league leaders in steals. Scucci, seventh in the league, 2.1 steals per contest. 15 point lead for the charge. Farrell out front on the switch against Blossom game. Brownridge backs out. Gets it to Norvell Pell, hands it back to Brownridge on the right wing. With five, goes to Pell at the right block, skips it left corner. Jefferson to three, rattles out. And Bonzi Colson takes it away from Sir Dominic Pointer. Smith, Colson out front, thought about the three, steps back, now lets it fly. Rim no good, tapped around. And finally controlled by Haywood Highsmith. Maybe the best, lead, the best name in the G League. Haywood Highsmith. He's got it out front. Now to the right wing. Skips it straight away to Brownridge. Left wing to Farrell. Around a pick from Pell. Alley oop inside to Pell. Knocked away nicely on the help by Pointer. Pointer's got it. Behind his back to the left wing. To Colson coming down the lane. Underhand scoop off the glass. Bonzi Colson with five. Good patience by Sir Dominic Pointer. Charge up 75, 58, 17 point lead. Just shy of their best of 19 today. Brownridge skips it. Farrell, left top three ball. Got it. Matt Farrell, 12 points, two three balls this afternoon as we've played two minutes of basketball here in the third quarter. Scoochie Smith around a pick from Blossom game to the left elbow. Out front, Kobe Simmons to the right elbow. High dribble straight away, Colson. Scoochie Smith. Skips it right corner, knocked out of bounds, intended for Blossom game. Last touch by Highsmith. Five on the shot clock. Wasting no time, Norval Pell takes a seat. Cam Oliver returns. Pell sits with seven. Oliver back with seven. Right corner, Kobe Simmons out front. Scoochie Smith back to Simmons. Left elbow, steps back. 18-foot jump shot, splashes through. Kobe Simmons on the beam today. He's got 18 points. Charge lead 77 to 61. Farrell right top, gonna try another three. He makes it another three. Matt Farrell 15, back to back threes, and Nate Ranking says that's enough of that. Timeout, 9.32 to play, third quarter. Charge 77 64, a 99 7 Canton's New Country in the Charge Broadcast Network.
9.30 to play in the third quarter. Charge and Bluecoat, six points apiece. Charge 77 to 64. Kobe Simmons, as we said, red out. He's got 18 points. Chasing down his season's high of 21. See if there's any changes to either of the members out on the floor. Nope. Everybody stays the same. Of course, as we said, Cam Oliver, a quick replacement for Norvell Pell. Charge basketball, four court to the right. Kobe Simmons on the right top to the wing, working on Highsmith, skips it to Colson. Working on Jefferson, right top, three ball, wide right off the rim, snatched down by Cam Oliver. Oliver now seven points, four rebounds. Farrell straight away, trying to direct traffic, skips it right top to Brownridge. Guarded by Scucci Smith, coming down the right side, double teamed on the shot. Is it gonna be Smith or Kobe Simmons? It's gonna be on Kobe. Kobe picks up his fourth personal foul. And Ja'Cory Williams quickly to the table. Will come in between free throws. Jared Brownridge will go to the line. First trip today. He's got two three-pointers back in the first quarter from the line. Brownridge 10 of 11, 90.9%. First one rattles out. Williams back, replacing Bonzi Colson. And Kobe Simmons with his 18 points, four fouls, takes a seat, replaced by Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman, who's back with six. Brownridge, 15 points per ball game. Puts up the second free throw, he's got seven. Exactly nine minutes to play in the third. 77-65. Charge out in front. Blossom game, left elbow across the lane, floated with the right hand off the back rim. Oliver high for the rebound. Stolen away by Pointer, flips it on the rim, tapped up by Blossom game, tries it again, put it up and in. Jaron Blossom game, first point since the first quarter. He's got 13. Four court to the left. Brown Ridge. Left of the lane, tapped around, controlled by Oliver into the lane. Shoots it over Sir Dominic Pointer, who tried to get out of the way, but he's going to get called for the personal foul. Getting a communique from our director of communications, Sean Wyatt, that former Cavalier two-way player John Holland is actually tuned in to the ball game this afternoon. Want to wish, of course, John all the best as Oliver's free th first free throw is off the back of the rim. John Holland, nothing but class. His time here with the Cavaliers organization, we wish him all the best down with the Spurs, and good to see him. The 21-point effort last night, second free throw free throw by Oliver comes off as well. John, my part-time announcer partner during, uh, unfortunately, his injuries <laughs> last year, but we missed John, and again, thanks for tuning in, buddy, and all the best down there in Texas. You're not missing anything up here, pal. Just a bunch of rain, so hopefully it's nice and sunny where you are. Blossom game at the right top with one on the clock. Right wing three by Smith. Tapped up and in by Sir Dominic Pointer. Into double figures now with 10. Boy, Sir Dom just soared above the blue coat front line for those two. Brownridge, right elbow, steps back, 20 foot jumper from there, rim too strong, slapped around, tapped around into the hands of Abdul Rahman. Rahman to the right top, to the right wing, backs it out, picked up by Oliver on the switch. Seven and a half to play, charged by 16. Jacory tossed it up, going across the lane left to right, and somebody got him with the body. And the body is Cam Oliver. For Cam Oliver, that is his waiting. I believe it's his second. And while they try to figure that out, Jacory Williams will go to the free throw line. First trip today. Jacory 24 of 40, 60%. The lefty puts up the first right there. Corey on the season, 16.4 points, seven rebounds per game. Scucci Smith takes a chair, and Levi Randolph will replace him. Scucci down with nine, Levi back with seven. Ja'Cory again, good again. Ja'Cory Williams now with eight points. Charge 83-65. Anderson back for the Bluecoats to Farrell. 
Oliver hands back to Farrell, coming down the right side, on the right baseline, out front to Highsmith. Straight away, three ball from there. Good idea, splashed it home. Haywood Highsmith, first basket today, three points. He averages 14.5 per game, his 17th three of the season. Runner from the right side, Jakari Williams with the left hand, rattles it in. Jakari Williams, four quick points, double figures now with 10. Anderson, straight away to Highsmith, pumps. Gets cut off at the free throw line, threw it inside to Anderson, tries to fight it up. And a foul is going to be called. Five is Abdul Rahman. Third on the charge, first on Abdul Rahman. They'll say it was before the shot attempt. So, so out front is Highsmith to Farrell. 6.35 to play in the third. Farrell. To the left double, crosses court to the right wing. Gonna try to beat the buzzer, turns and shoots the three, comes up short, 24 second violation. Great defense by the charge, but I think the Blue Coats lost track of time. So with 6.27 to play in the third, charge with that 17 point lead, they can match their biggest of the day, maybe even take their biggest lead of the ball game. Abdul Rahman, straight away to Ja'Cory Williams to Levi Randolph at the free throw line. Steps back, looking for somebody, gets it to Abdul Rahman. Coming into the lane, left hand's floater underhand, rebounded by Ryan Anderson. Waiting for help, gets it to Farrell. Farrell, four court to the left to Anderson. Blue coats in the white uniforms, blue letters and numbers. Akun Purcell on the left wing, looking for help, Farrell. Right corner, Highsmith pumps, shoots the three. Air ball rebounded by Abdul Rahman, but should be a 24 second violation. And it is, so the charge will get it back. Isaac Hamilton will return for Canton. Isaac scoreless in his first few minutes this afternoon. Sir Dominic Pointer will take a seat. Emmanuel Terry back replacing Jerron Blossom game. Emmanuel Terry will have to wait for the next dead ball. So Isaac Hamilton running the offense now for the charge, straight away to Blossom game. To Abdul Rahman between the circle straight away. Backdoor cut, Levi Randolph two hand slam. Boy, the charge have been on point tonight with their passing. Beautiful, nine points for Randolph. Charge matching their biggest lead of the night. Oh, Cameron Oliver caught one on the air with a one-hand pass from Highsmith. Laid it up and in. Cam Oliver, nine points. Boy, that was pretty catch and shot by Oliver. Randolph on the weave. Hands back to Hamilton. Fires inside, right block, left hand over his head to Corey Williams. Boy, the weave by the charge has been so effective this season. You don't know who's going to be the guy backdoor cutting, and Ja'Cory with the left hand put it off the glass from the right side. 19-point lead, 4.45 to play in the third. Pass inside, knocked away by Ja'Cory Williams, picked up by Blossom Game, stolen away almost by Matt Farrell. Slapped it out of bounds, good hustle by Farrell, just not good enough to get it to a teammate. Hogan Randall back for the Blue Coats. Emmanuel Terry in, replacing Blossom Game, who sits down with 13. Terry active in the first half, had seven points. Abdul Rahman out front between the circles to Levi Randolph. Randolph on the left wing, into the lane, flips it up high, comes up short, good defense by Hogue, and the ball ricochets out of bounds far side. Back to the Blue Coats with 4.26 to play. Blue Coats led early by two. It's been all charged since that time. They've led by as many as 19. Randall, Akun Purcell coming down the left side, spins inside, drops it to Oliver, muscled it off the glass, in and fouled. Cam Oliver, big, strong, and athletic. He's got 11, we'll look for 12 at the line. It's gonna be on Levi Randolph, his second. Charged with four fouls here in the quarter. Blue Coats with just one. Oliver's free throw is good. 12 points for Cam Oliver. Oliver slammed home the winning basket 
in the win over Wisconsin on Wednesday. 108-106, did that with about three seconds remaining. Right wing jump shot by Isaac Hamilton over the backboard and out of bounds. So 4.02 to play. Charge lead is 16. Randall between the circle straight away, left top to Akun Purcell coming down the left side. Cut off by Terry, skips at right corner, Hogue. Smothered by Randolph to Anderson on the right block. Guarded by Williams into the lane, turns right hand jump hook, well done off the glass. Jump hook by Ryan Anderson. That's a big time move for the 6'9 forward from Arizona. He's got double figures with 10. Charge 89-75, 3.30 to play, third quarter. Abdul Rahman straight away three, got it. Good idea, Mohammed Ali Abdul Rahman. Nine points, second three ball this afternoon, his 11th of the season. Charge up 17, Anderson. Hogue on the wing, he'll bring it out front. Picked up by Ja'Cory Williams to Oliver, back to Hogue. Got away with the travel, shoots a straight away three ball. Short off the front of the rim, high for the rebound. Terry stolen away by Akun Purcell. And he alley-oops it to Oliver for the right-hand tomahawk slam. Yeah, Emmanuel a little sloppy on that outlet pass and Akun Purcell turned it into a slam for Cam Oliver. 2.50 to play in the third, charged by 15. Abdul Rahman into the lane, forced it up, comes up short, tapped around, controlled by Kyle Randall. Blue coach right to left in the road white uniforms. Akun Purcell into the lane, had it knocked away and a foul is called. Foul will be on Abdul Rahman. And we're going to get a timeout. 2.38 to play, third quarter. Charge 92.77 on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network. Getting set to check in. Next dead ball. Younger brother of DeMarcus. Oh, what? A throwdown. Antonius Cleveland on the reverse. We are not worthy. In the corner. Let's watch this. You're thinking there's no way he's going to do that. Deal. McCray in transition down the paint. Lays it up. Keep it up. McCray, the baseline. He attacks. He's got Robinson. The lob. scoreboard on that one. I've seen in a very long time. You look at this kid and this starts with Jay Oza. Look at this finish. Over the top. That's got to make somebody's highlight here. That's got to be our sport. Hey, don't forget your Canton Charge take on the Windy City Bulls next Saturday, December 8th, here at the Civic Center at 7 o'clock. The first 2,000 fans will receive a fleece blanket courtesy of the Salvation Army. For tickets, visit CantonCharge.com. 2.38 to play, third quarter charge, 92.77. Don't forget you can pack the Civic Center for a Canton Charge Cavs night on Saturday, December the 15th at 7.30 when the Charge take on the Greensboro Swarm. The first 2,000 fans will receive a Kevin Love bobblehead courtesy of Goodyear. Plus, enjoy appearances from Cavs mascots and entertainment teams and a post-game autograph session. For tickets, visit CantonCharge.com. Off the timeout. And after paying some bills, Devon Akun Purcell will shoot a couple of free throws. Purcell two for two thus far this afternoon. He's got six points. First free throw, nothing but net. First appearance for the Blue Coats. Wears a blue five on the back of his road white uniform. That one's short off the rim and a lane violation on Emmanuel Terry. So. Much like in the first half, the Blue Coats will get a second chance at a second free throw. I think it was, Jaco oh, no, that was Emmanuel that time, Ja'Cory Williams back in the first half. Akun Purcell takes advantage of the second opportunity, nails the free throw. 
2.35 to play, third quarter, 92-79. Charge out in front. Abdul Rahman in the swashbuckler logo out front. Right top to Randolph, looking for Terry, gets it to him, but a whistle. Got a hold. Kyle Lowry on the hold. Charge basketball, four court to the right. Right free throw line extended, Abdul Rahman will inbound. Look in, goes right wing to Hamilton, back to Abdul Rahman. 10 on the shot clock, he'll bring it out front. Looking for help, trying not to pull the pivot foot, gets it to Hamilton to the right wing with two. Skips it, not gonna get a shot off in time, Abdul Rahman, oh he does and he made it! Oh, he was fading and drifting and he ran it down, oh my goodness! How in the world did Abdul Rahman pull that rabbit out of that hat? 95-79. Randall into the lane, skips it out front, knocked away. Picked up by Emmanuel Terry in front of the pack on Cam Oliver. The follow slam by Ja'Cory Williams will not count. Oliver gets called for the foul and Emmanuel Terry. Once he makes his way back to the court after visiting the court club up to the right, Terry finally makes his way back to the free throw line where he will shoot a couple. Made one back in the first quarter. 6'9", 220 from Lincoln Memorial College, Division II. High arcing free throw off the back of the rim, first try. Emmanuel now at 7.9 points, 5.3 rebounds per game. Good for 1.2 blocks per contest as well. 150 to play, charge 95-79. Terry trying to make the second, and he does. Eight points for Emmanuel Terry, right on his season's average. 150 to play, charge by 17. Right to left, Kyle Randall for the Blue Coats. Skips it left wing, Akun Purcell. On the switch on Terry. Settles for a long three ball off the rim. Tapped around, controlled by Ja'Cory Williams. On the push left to right. Right down the middle, coming down the right side. The floater with the left hand off the glass. Ja'Cory Williams, 14. He's got eight here in the quarter. Charged by 19, matching their biggest lead of the afternoon. Randall between the circles to the left elbow. Looking for help, goes left block to Pell, steps inside, forced it up, knocked away, picked up by Highsmith on the right block. Skips it left wing to Randall, into the elbow. Shoots from the left side, back rim too strong, rebounded Levi Randolph. One minute to play, third quarter. Abdul Rahman at the right top. Terry, right wing, shoots the 15 foot jumper, short off the rim, high for the rebound, Corey Jefferson. And the Blue Coats. Randall left to right across the lane, tosses it high and tapped away and knocked away by Emmanuel Terry for the block shot. But it goes out of bounds and the Blue Coats will get it back with 16 on the shot clock. Four court to the left, right of the basket, Randall to Akun Purcell on the right wing. Underhand scoop intended for Pell and a foul on the pass off. Foul is gonna be on Abdul Rahman. His third charge already over the limit, so Akun Purcell will go back to the free throw line. Four for four today. Blue Coats have won four of five entering action here this afternoon. First free throw is good. They'll meet one more time on Monday, March the 18th at Delaware. I believe the Blue Coats will be in their new building by that time. Sean Wyatt says, yes, indeed. Second free throw by Akun Purcell, good as well. Double figures with 10, 35 seconds to play in the third. Charged by 17, Rachman, right top three ball, splashes it through. Abdul Rachman, four three balls this afternoon. He's got a season high 15 points. And the charge lead is 20, biggest of the day. Akun Purcell, straightaway three, got it right back. 13 for Akun Purcell, his first three ball today. 12 on the clock, charge can use them all. Working on Highsmith, 
into the lane, skips it right baseline. Abdul Rahman, right corner three to beat the buzzer off the rim, no good on the floor. Highsmith from half court, gonna be wide right. And we have played three quarters of basketball at the Civic Center, entering the fourth. Charge 101, Blue Coat 84 on Canton's New Country 99.7 in the Charge Broadcast Network. Start of the fourth quarter, Blue Coach basketball, four courts to the left in the lane. Akun Purcell turns, flips, and drops in two more. 15 points off the bench for Devon Akun Purcell. As the charge lead is 101 86. Charge shooting just under 55% from the floor, 45% for the Blue Coats. Charge 10 of 21 from beyond the three point line. Pass inside intended for Emmanuel Terry, knocked away, picked up by Jared Brownridge, and committing the foul is Sir Dominic Pointer stopping the fast break by the Bluecoats. 15 points for Matt Farrell leading the way for the Bluecoats, 14 for Cam Oliver, 18 points for Kobe Simmons, but he's got four fouls. And 13, uh, excuse me, 15 points off the bench for Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman with four three balls. Farrell straight away between the circles to the right elbow. Al Youps inside to Pell for another two hand slam. Nine points for Norvell Pell, a nifty assist by Matt Farrell. That's his fourth of the afternoon. Charge lead down to 13. They've led by as much as 20. Colson straight away between the circles. Hands back to Levi Randolph. 10 on the shot clock. Skips it. Pointer. Left wing with five. Spins into the lane. Left block. Terry into the lane. Skips it. Colson right corner three to beat the buzzer off the back of the rim. And Pell grabs the rebound. Matt Farrell, four court to the left. To the left elbow, left block, skips a right corner, Hogue. Brownridge steps to his left, shoots a straightaway three. Good idea. Jer Jared Brownridge, double figures with 10 on the three ball. And Nate Farrell wants to put a stop to this real quick. 10.33 to play in the ball game. Charge 101-91 on 99.7 Kansas New, Kansas New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network.
Thanks for tuning in on 99.7 Canton's New Country, the Charge mobile app. And if you're watching on Facebook Live, glad you're with us as the Charge have a 101-91 lead, 10-30 to play in the ball game. Kobe Simmons back, Scoochie Smith back for the Charge as the Blue Coats have opened up the fourth quarter on a 7-0 run. Simmons straight away between the circles. 10 on the shot clock, coming down into the lane, drops a left block to Terry, gets hacked from behind by DJ Hogue. Well, that's one of the problems of being a big man. You get into the paint, all the other bigs are slamming you, and then you've also got the guards coming in to help out. Emmanuel Terry, for his effort, will go back to the free throw line where he is two of three this afternoon. Takes his time, high arcing free throw, goes up and in, splashes it through. 23 years old from Birmingham, Alabama is Emmanuel Terry. An affiliate player by the Cavaliers. 6.6 6 rebounds in the win the other night against ACC. Splits the pair, misses the second. Does Terry. 102-91 charge coming up on 10 minutes to play. Hogue left alone at the left top for the three and he hits nothing but nut. DJ Hogue. Seven points, first three ball today, and all of a sudden that 20 point lead is down to eight. Terry at the right elbow to Scucci Smith and an offensive foul on the illegal screen by Emmanuel Terry. Jerron Blossom game back replacing Terry. Emmanuel sits down with nine points. Jerron Blossom game back in with 13. Blue coats, basketball right to left in the road, white uniforms. Blue numbers and letters. Farrell to the right wing, skips at left corner. Akun Purcell wide open, nails another three, and the Blue Coats are about ready to cause a real problem for the charge. Akun Purcell, 18 points off the bench. He's got two threes, and it's a five point lead for the charge, and the Civic Center has gotten awful quiet. Blossom game coming down the right side, attacks Pell, and Pell is going to be called for the personal foul. Official Nelson Santiago said that Pell extended the arms forward. That'll put Jerron Blossom game to the free throw line. First trip this afternoon. He's got 13 points. 72.7% from the line is Blossom game. 40 of 55. First one goes up and in. Four games with the charge entering today. 16.8 points, 7.3 rebounds member of the Austin Spurs championship team of just last season scored 15 points grabbed 10 rebounds in the decisive second game second free throw good as well 15 points for blossom game charge 104 97 9 20 to play in the ball game Farrell left elbow hesitate skips it right wing Akun Purcell, another three. This one's long. Ricochets back to him in the right corner. And Bonzi Colson out to cover him a little bit too tight. Picks up the personal foul. First on Bonzi, third on the charge. Blue Coats basketball, four court to the left. On the far side at the right free throw line extended. Brown Ridge will inbound. Up front to Hogue. Looking for help, trying to get it to Farrell. Can't do it. Good overplay by Scucci Smith. Gets it to Akun Purcell instead. Had it, lost it. Picked up by Pell to Farrell. Straight away, three ball to beat the buzzer. Too strong off the backboard. Tapped around on the four. Controlled by Colson, who threw it away to Brownridge. Pell under the basket. Turns and lays it up with the left hand. Norvell Pell, double figures with 11. Turnover. Results in two points for the Blue Coats, and with 8.35 to play, charge lead again five. Blossom game across the lane, drops it inside, intended for Colson, picked up by Akun Purcell. And Scucci Smith reaches in for the foul to stop the fast break. 8.28 to play, charge. Basketball has gotten a little wet for them. They're a little sloppy here in the fourth quarter. Cam Oliver is back, Norvell Pell takes a seat. A four court to the left. Jacory Williams quickly back to the table for the Canton Charge. With the home wine uniforms with the wine and gold trim. 
Brownridge. Gets it into Akun Purcell. So Dominic Pointer all over him. Now Ja'Cory Williams on the switch. Bounces off him to the right elbow to Cam Oliver on the right block under the basket. Had it inside. Knocked away, stole the by Sir Dominic Pointer. Pointer goes left block. Blossom game drives inside, lays it up and in. Good look inside by Sir Dominic Pointer. Blossom game, the layup. Four minutes into the fourth quarter, charge by seven. Farrell, right wing, skips it out front to Akun Purcell. Settles for the left top three ball, got another one. Devon Akun Purcell, first ball game for the Blue Coats. Had no stats coming in. He's got a boatload to take home with him tonight. 21, three threes, six of six from the line. 106, 102. Charge with seven and a half to play. Scoochie Smith directs traffic. Right of the lane, Ja'Cory Williams on the double team. Has it knocked away, stolen by Hogue. Looks for Farrell and gets it to him. Four court to the left, between the circle, straight away. On the double team, skips it to Hogue at the left top, left block, Oliver all alone. Blossom game met him at the rim, but they're gonna call him for a foul. Oh, Jerome Blossom game got a ton of ball. He got a little body, but man, you gotta let that go. See it again on the replay, that's clean, that is clean. Officials didn't see it that way, so Oliver will go to the line. Oh boy. Oliver from the line today. Three for five. Four for six, first one goes up and in. Fourteen and a half points, nine rebounds a game for Cam Oliver. From Sacramento, California, free throw goes up and in. Oliver now with 16 points. He's got four rebounds as well. Seven minutes to play. Charged by two. Scoochie Smith between the circles straight away. Blue Coats have gotten themselves back in the ball game and they could taste a win here. Under the basket, Kobe Simmons drives and scores. Found the defense napping, drives for two more. He's got 20. Season high is 21. Farrell straight away, three bangs at home. Matt Farrell, his last three baskets have been three balls. He's got 18 points, ball tapped around. And the Bluecoats can take the lead. They trail 108 and 107. Farrell out front to Hogue. Hands back to Brown Ridge to Farrell. 10 on the shot clock. Long straightaway three ball, nailed another one. Oh my goodness, Farrell, 21 points. Nate Rankin calls time. 6-10 to play fourth quarter. The Blue Coats have come all the way back, leading the charge 110-108 on 99-7. Canton's, Canton's New Country in the Charge Broadcast Network. Thursday, December 27th at 7, join your NBA G League Canton Charge when they host the Detroit Pistons affiliate, the Grand Rapids Drive. Get $1 Sugardale hot dogs all night for tickets starting at just $8. Visit CantonCharge.com. How about this to start the fourth quarter? 
the Blue Coats on a 26 to seven run. They have now made 16 of 34 from beyond the three point line. Charger fine from the arc, 10 of 22, 45 and a half percent. But the Blue Coats, 16 of 34, 47%. Charge basketball, four court to the right. Scoochie Smith left wing, jump shot comes off the rim to Cam Oliver. Akun Purcell, who's got 18 off the bench, looking for more, comes up high on the rim, comes off the blossom game to Sir Dominic Pointer. Quickly four court to the right, couple of big steps, drives and scores. Much needed basket. Sir Dominic Pointer with 12, a nifty drive, ties the game at 110, five and a half to play. Farrell straight away. Brownridge looking for Oliver, can't get it to him. 10 on the shot clock, now goes to Oliver left wing. Skips it right wing to Farrell. Pumps, Akun Purcell. Right wing, settles for the three. That one's wide right off the rim. Grabbed, grabbed by Blossom Game. Coming up on five minutes to play. Right wing, Ja'Cory Williams back to Sir Dominic Pointer. Center floor swashbuckler logo is Scoochie Smith. Around a pick from Blossom, game to the left elbow. Hesitate, drops it inside. Reverse layup by Kobe Simmons. He's got 22, it's a season high. And now Connor Johnson calls a timeout. It's gonna be a 30. Oh, a couple of big plays by the charge. And they've retaken the lead, 112 to 110. Don't forget, you can download the Canton Charge smartphone app for news, scores, stats, tickets, and a lot more, all while listening to The Charge right from your phone. It's free, fast, and easy. Go to the App Store and download it today. Boy, those are a couple of much needed baskets by The Charge. Again, Kobe Simmons now with a season high 22 points. Kobe from the floor, nine of 12. He's got a three ball, three of three from the line. Three rebounds, two assists, two steals for good measure. Charge with 12 steals, which is above their season's average of 10. They've also forced 17 blue coat turnovers, which the Charge have turned into 24 points. Blue coats basketball moving right to left. Matt Farrell through the center floor logo right to left. To the right top, picked up by Pointer. Straight away to Norvell Pell, backdoor looking for Akun Purcell, can't get it to him, to Farrell. To a rolling Purcell, uh, to uh, Pell on the right block, knocked away, stolen away by Sir Dominic Pointer, and a foul in the backcourt by DJ Hogue. Boy, a swarming Sir Dominic Pointer on the defensive end. He was a good defender a couple of years ago with the team, but boy, he has really upped his game, and his offensive game has really cleaned up as well. Five steals now for Sir Dominic Pointer. He's got 12 points, four rebounds, and six assists. What a ball game. Scoochie Smith waiting for the pick from Blossom game to the left elbow. Pumps straight away to Simmons. Steps to his left, long two ball off the rim. Rebounded by Pell to Farrell. Farrell out front. Akun Purcell right block to Pell. To a cutting Akun Purcell went for the slam, didn't get it off the rim. High on the floor, bounces to Hogue. Akun Purcell forced up the shot. Are they gonna count it? They will wave it off, a foul reach in by Sir Dominic Pointer. So Sir Dom picks up the foul. Five on the charge, which means Blue Coats will shoot free throws the rest of the way. And Devon Akun Purcell back to the stripe, six for six, 21 points off the bench. First one goes up and in. Three fifty-seven to play. Akun Purcell, one more free throw will try to tie the ball game. Slight knee bend, flips it up. Tie game, one twelve apiece. Twenty-three for Akun Purcell. Scucci Smith walks it into the forecourt to the right, picked up by High Smith. Backs it out between the circle straight away. Now comes around a blossom game, picked to the right elbow to the right block, skips it. Blossom game, left top three ball, short off the rim, Farrell the rebound. Blue coats right to left. Farrell, picked up by Pointer, 
around a pick, left top straight away, three ball, comes up short on the floor, picked up by Highsmith, blocked away by Pointer, picked up by Blossom Game, flips it across, Scoochie Smith coming down the right side, reverse layup, nope, there's a foul on the floor, and the foul is gonna be on Farrell. Three fouls on Matt Farrell. Levi Randolph will come back. And if Kobe Simmons a break. 14 fouls on the blue coat, so the charge will shoot on the next personal. Scooby Smith straight Scoochie Smith straight away. Ball ricochets into the backcourt. To Levi Randolph to Scoochie Smith with 10. Directs traffic. Around a pick from Blossom game, back to Jerron. Straight away three ball, rim no good, tapped around, but finally controlled by Norvell Pell and the Blue Coats. Four court to the left with the left hand dribble, now switches hands between his legs. Akun Purcell coming down the left side, drives, forced it up on the rim, in and foul, and he gives a guttural yell, exclamating the basket. 25 will look for 26. Thirteen here, make it twelve in the fourth quarter. Looking for thirteen in the fourth is Akun Purcell. Too strong, back of the rim, tapped around, pulled down by Jacory Williams. Blue coach, 114, 112, 245 to play. Hands it to Scoochie Smith, covered tightly by Highsmith. Coming down the left side, runs into Hogue, ball knocked out front to Pointer with five. Coming down the lane, couple of big steps to floater, swatted away by Pell. Purcell, Highsmith right side, drives and scores. Haywood Highsmith, two baskets, five points. 2.22 to play. And the Blue Coats have taken a two point lead at 114, 112. And Nate Ranking and the charge call the timeout. Up next for Delaware, Monday they will be home to Westchester. Thursday they will be at Capital City for the charge Monday night at Fort Wayne. You can hear it on 99.7 Canton's New Country, the Canton Charge mobile app, or watch it on Facebook. And then the charge will have the makeup game with the Long Island Nets on Thursday. That's a seven o'clock tip here at the Civic Center. Go to cantoncharge.com for tickets. You can also watch it on ESPN Plus. You can listen to it on 99.7 or the Charge mobile app. 2.22 to play, off the timeout, charge basketball. Kobe Simmons right back in. Charge going a little bit small with Simmons, Ja'Cory Williams, Levi Randolph, Scoochie Smith, and Jerron Blossom game. Simmons, straight away, left top to Scoochie Smith. Hesitates, left of the lane, steps back, elbow jump shot, too strong, tapped around, knocked out of bounds, and they'll say off the blue coats. Blossom game tapped it, but they'll say last touched by the gentleman in white. Shot clock resets to 14. Four court to the right, right of the basket. Kobe Simmons will inbound for the charge. Right wing, Levi Randolph to Smith. Right corner, Randolph straight away to Blossom game. Two minutes to play, Blossom game spins, left side, blocked away by Pell, picked up by Kobe Simmons, he laid it up and it came off the rim, follow slam by Blossom game and he snarls after the two hand dunk. Blossom game with 19, game is a two pointer for the Blue Coats, 116, 114, 145 to play. Farrell, right elbow extended, Norvell Pell, Hands it back to Farrell, straight away three, wide right. Ball on the floor, picked up by Scoochie Smith with 90 seconds to play. Ja'Cory Williams into the lane, had it, lost it, grabbed by Akun Purcell. Quickly into the forecourt, and a foul out on the floor. Boy, things getting pretty hectic here at the Civic Center. Will Mensa and Nate Green having a conversation. Connor Johnson having an animated conversation with Will Mensa. And while Connor Johnson cools his heels, Akun Purcell will go back to the free throw line where he's got 25 points. Bonzi Colson back to the table 
for the charge. First free throw is good for Devon Akun Purcell. 28 minutes, 26 points, seven of 16 from the floor, three of seven from beyond the arc, nine of 10 from the stripe. He's got five rebounds, five assists. What an afternoon for Devon Akun Purcell. Second free throw good as well, 27 points. Four point lead for the Blue Coats, 120 to play. Scoochie Smith between the circles, picked up by Highsmith. Highsmith jabbing at him, comes around a pick from Bonzi Colson. Out front, steps back, straight away three. Scoochie Smith wide right, rebounded by Highsmith. Matt Farrell, four court to the left. We've got exactly a minute to play at the Civic Center. Akun Purcell had it knocked away from behind, but a foul is going to be called on Deshaun Scucci Smith. Akun Purcell back to the free throw line. He is a one man wrecking crew here today. 14 points in the fourth quarter alone. Hesitates, then puts up the free throw that rattles out. 58.3 seconds to play. 118, 114. Just joining us, charge led by 20 points earlier in the ball game. They've been in command through the better part of the ball game until the fourth quarter. There's the second free throw good by Akun Purcell. Scoochie Smith at the right top, under a minute to play. Straight away, blossom game, three ball, too strong. Ball tapped around, grabbed by Colson. Forced it up, blocked by Hogue, ball on the floor. Colson's got it, tries to call the timeout. Does he get it? Or is it gonna be a jump ball? Not getting a signal, so it must be a jump ball. And it will be. In the circle to the right, charge circle. Bonzi Colson at 6-6 against Norvell Pell at 6'10. Nope, they're going to say Kobe Simmons is jumping. Simmons at 6'6. Pogo sticks for legs. And even 43 seconds to play. Five point lead for the Bluecoats. Got a quick second. Let's pause for station identification. Nope, let's hang on. Every time. Now, now they bring in Bonzi Colson. All right, Nate Green, the crew chief, now steps into the circle. Abdul Rahman replaces Levi Randolph. We could have got the ID in. <laughs> Every time you go for it, you get burned. So we'll wait. Colson back in at 6'6", six, 6'10". Six, six, Pell taps it back to Hogue, hands it to Akun Purcell. Works his way into the forecourt to the left, and he runs over... What do we, we get an offensive foul? We do have a foul on Devon Akun Purcell running over the charge as they triple team them at the midcourt stripe. Now we can, yeah, he ran right over Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman. Now we've got a chance, let's pause for station identification on the Canton Charge Broadcast Network. Thirty-five point three seconds remain. Blue coats one nineteen, one fourteen. Charge trying to see what they can come up with here. As things were looking good early in the day, but give the blue coats credit, they've continued to stay with it. And what they did was they gave themselves an opportunity. And once they start making some shots, all of a sudden you see the ball go through. You start feeling good about yourself. You start playing defense a little bit better, and before you know it, the 20-point deficit is gone, and you've got a five-point lead with 35 seconds to play. Abdul Rahman just to my right, four court to the right. Will inbound, looks straight away to Scucci Smith. Into the lane, drops it right block to Blossom Game, had it, lost it out of bounds, and the turnover will give it back to the Blue Coach with 31 seconds to play. And the Blue Coats with a five-point lead. And now we have Connor 
Johnson calling, he's gonna call the timeout. Calls the 30 second timeout. Don't forget you can bring your group to a charge game. You can get your spotlight opportunity to play basketball on the court, sing the national anthem. You can be a part of the starting lineup and more groups. Start at just 20 people per group and tickets are as low as $8 per ticket. For more information on charge group experiences, visit cantoncharge.com. Charge back at Monday at Fort Wayne. Seven o'clock tip, I'll have it for you on 99.7 Canton's New Country and the Canton Charge mobile app. A fourth quarter run by the Bluecoats, 35 to 13. This after the charge posting 45 back in the first quarter. How quickly ball games can change. On the reset timeout, Blue Coach four court to the left. DJ Hogue will inbound for the visitors. Look, looking. Goes out front to Corey Jefferson to Farrell. Under 30 to play. Charger gonna have to foul and they finally do. Blossom game fouls Matt Farrell. Four fouls on Blossom game and Matt Farrell back to the free throw line. Where today two for two, he's got 21 points, four three balls. Two of them here in the fourth quarter, all four, make it five, pardon me, he had one back in the second quarter as he rattles up the first one in. Going through their notes, I found a very interesting little nugget on Matt Farrell. He would like to see Frankie Valley in concert. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so great. Matt Farrell, just 22 years old. Yes, most 22 year olds, do you know who, Matt, who um, Frankie Valley is? And they'll say, they'll look at you like you've got four eyes. But actually, Matt Farrell wants to see him. I thought that was great. Second free throw off the back of the rim. Blossom game the rebound. Reset timeout for the charge, so the ball will get moved into the four court with 24.6 seconds to play, and it's a 120 to 114 lead by the Bluecoats. And it has gotten very, very quiet here at the Civic Center. Haywood Highsmith back. And Jared Brownridge as well for defensive purposes. Scucci Smith out front. Skips it out front. Simmons left the wing. Bonzi Colson the three, too strong. Ricochets in the far corner, run down by Scucci Smith, turns and shoots. Three ball hits the rim twice, comes down to Matt Farrell. And I think the charge are gonna call off the dogs. And the blue coats are gonna have a very impressive come from behind win. They knock off the charge, 120 to 114. We'll take a timeout, we'll come back, we'll take a quick look at the box score. Final from the Civic Center, the Blue Coach 120, the charge 114, a 99-7 Canton's New Country and the Charge Broadcast Network.
Back at the Canton Civic Center, we've got a final as the Blue Coats have rallied from 20 points down to knock off the Canton Charge 120 to 114. Today's game of Canton Charge basketball was powered by the Cleveland Cavaliers. With the win, the Delaware Blue Coats have won three straight, improved to five and five, three and five on the road. Charge fall to four and six, two and two here at the Civic Center. Taking a quick look, Charge led at 45-28 after one, 71-58 at the half, and 101-84 through three. But a 36-13 fourth quarter by the Blue Coats helped them rally from that 20-point deficit for the six-point win. Charge were red out from the beginning of the ball game, but they cooled off significantly. They finished shooting just under 48%, 47% by the Blue Coats. But the shooting, here's the difference. Charge, a very respectable uh, 10 of 28 three balls. But the Blue Coats, 16 of 37 for 43%. They also had 26 free throws to just 14 for the charge. Charge just 14 turnovers, but it did cost them 19 points. Blue Coats, 19 turnovers cost them 24. Individually, how about this line by Devon Akun Purcell off the bench? 29 minutes, 28 points. He had three of seven threes, 11 of 13 from the free throw line, five rebounds, five assists, and four steals. 22 points for Matt Farrell, including five three balls for the charge. 22 points for Kobe Simmons, a season high. 15 points for Muhammad Ali Abdul Rahman off the bench. 14 for Ja'Cory Williams. All adds up to a Blue Coats win of 120 to 114. And don't forget, you can visit CantonCharge.com or the Charge mobile app for these numbers and more. Coming up next for the Charge Monday, they'll be at Fort Wayne taking on the Mad Ants. You can hear it all on 99.7. Canton New Country, the Charge mobile app, or watch it on Facebook Live. Charge back at the Civic Center Thursday versus Long Island at 7. So for my studio engineer, Big Daddy, Marty Allen, how about that for today? We've got the big, bad, the big bad Big Daddy running the board. This is Scott Zerilla giving you the final score of final time from the Civic Center. The Blue Coats 120, the Charge 114. Have a great day, and thanks so much for listening. This copyrighted telecast All the right, NBA we are out. Good stuff. Well done. I got to break everything down, and then I will. Uh, <laughs> written consent of the NBA G League.